Hello, I'm Jürgen Johansson, and if you're going to have a good time backpacking, there is one paramount rule. Do not carry more than you have to. Strangely enough, a lot of people do, uh, and I should know because I used to do the same thing myself. But in the last 10 years or so, I've taken more than 10 kilos off my pack weight without losing comfort or safety. I've written a number of books on this subject, the most well-known probably being Smarter Backpacking, which you will find on Amazon. I've also traveled thousands of kilometers in Swedish, Canadian and American wildernesses using the light gear that I'm going to show you now. We made this film especially for people planning to hike Fjällräven Classic. Fjällräven Classic is a 110 kilometer hike through the Lapland Mountains of Sweden. Thousands of people take part in this event every year, sleeping in tents and usually spending three to five days on the trail. I made this hike myself a couple of years ago using some of the equipment we will show you in this film. But the gear and the advice are of course applicable not only for people planning to hike Fjällräven Classic, but for anyone who plans to spend some time in the wild. As I mentioned before, there is no more important rule for making Fjällräven Classic a light and easy hike, and that is packing light. The lighter you pack, the lighter your steps will be. This does not mean stupid light, it means smart light. Smarter backpacking is simply using the lightest gear that does the job of keeping you dry, warm and happy. Starting out on Fjällräven Classic, your pack should not, I repeat, not weigh more than 10 kilos. One of the most experienced backpackers and gear testers in the world is Brit Chris Townsend. He has tested light packs with heavy loads and found that in order to carry 25 kilos well, a pack need not be heavier than 1.8 kilos. For loads around 10 to 15 kilos, no pack would need weigh more than one kilo. And for Fjallraven Classic, you need not use a pack heavier than 1.5 kilos, holding 55 to 60 liters of gear. This is a Go Light Jam pack with a volume of 52 liters and weighing about 650 grams. Later models weigh slightly more. This is a frameless pack that still works very well, and I used it myself on Fjallraven Classic a couple of years ago. I have also made a three week, 500 kilometer trek through Swedish mountains using this pack. Uh, maximum weight at that time was 13, 14 kilos, which worked very well. This is a ULAO with a volume of about 55 liters and weighing some 650 grams. It has a slight supporting frame which makes it a bit easier to pack and it can also handle heavier loads. I have used it for uh, winter trips uh, starting out with uh, around 17-18 kilos. This is a Gossamer Gear Mariposa Plus with a volume of around 58 liters and weighing some 650 grams. It has a slight frame, aluminum stays here in the back. Um, this is my current favorite pack uh, and I've used it on winter trips starting out with some 16-17 kilos. There are other good and light packs from manufacturers like Osprey and Granite Gear. I repeat, 
a pack need not weigh more than around one kilo and that should give you a good start to achieving 343. Three. Here is one of the three big ones. It consists of sleeping bag and sleeping pads. Let's start with the sleeping bag. I strongly recommend that for Fjellraven Classic you pick a sleeping bag that can handle a frost night on the mountain. The insulating material could be either down or synthetic. I definitely recommend that you buy the best down sleeping bag that you can afford. It should not weigh more than one kilo and it should be able to handle zero degrees Celsius. This is a Marmot Hydrogen down sleeping bag weighing about 650 grams. It's very light and compact. It's um, but one example of a high quality down sleeping bag. Other well known manufacturers include Western Mountaineering and RAB. High quality down sleeping bags uh, are the only piece of gear that is more expensive to buy than its heavier counterpart. But if you want to save money, it's fairly easy to make your own high quality down quilt. This homemade quilt weighs about 600 grams. And you can find instructions on how to make these and where to buy fabric and down on the internet. For sleeping pads, you need something that insulates you against the ground under you. That's something that your sleeping bag will not provide. Usually you like something soft to sleep upon as well. These are a couple of close cell foam pads. They're light, weigh around 150 grams and about 5 millimeters thick. They can usually be bought for 5 euros or less and those low quality pads will last at least for 3-4 weeks. If you want to sleep warm and soft, and I certainly do, you should consider some sort of inflatable sleeping pad. You only really need one that covers you from your shoulders down to your hips. This is my current favorite. It's a Thermores Neo Air. It weighs around 260 grams. And I combine it with a closed cell foam pad for daytime use and underneath my feet and legs during the night. Here is another example of an inflatable sleeping pad that is light and soft and warm. The shelter is an important part of the three big ones. And for above timberline use, like in Fjellraven Classic, I recommend that you pick a reliable three-season pad. It should be able to handle high winds and precipitation that might occur. However, you do not need a bomb-proof four-season winter tent that can handle a storm on the North Pole. This is summer. It's a well-frequented trail with huts. There will be lots of tents in the vicinity. And in Fjallraven Classic, there will be support staff from Fjallraven. However, you have to do, use your own judgment here on where to draw the line. This is a tarp tent contrail. Single skin tent, bug proof. It has a four tent that could be folded back, like now, so fold it out for cooking when it's raining and added protection. I used this tent myself a couple of years back when I did Fjellerman Classic. And my son used it last summer doing 430 kilometers along the Swedish Royal Trail, Kungsleden. It worked very well for us, but uh, I'm not so sure it would handle a real storm above Timberline. This is the Gossamer Gear, the one, weighing slightly less than 500 grams. It's uh, bug proof, and you can keep the four tents folded back in nice weather, or cook underneath it, if you pull both sides out and zip them together. I've used this tent extensively, though never in a storm above Timberline, which I'm not sure it would handle. This will not keep me from using it on Fjallraven Classic, though. You can
This is a Terra Nova laser photon. As you can see, it's a double skin tent, a traditional model, weighing only 800 grams. It's made out of very light materials, but in my opinion, this is a bomb proof three season tent that will handle most any weather you're likely to encounter in the Swedish mountains. I've only shown one person tent. Most people would probably prefer two to three person tents. And there are lightweight, single and double skin alternatives for you as well. Just make sure that the tent that you pick does not weigh more than 1,000 to 1,200 grams per person. If I should do Fjall Raven Classic again, I would choose a Mariposa Plus pack, a Gotham and Gia the One tent, a Marmot Hydrogen Sleeping Bag, and a Neo Air Plus Closed Cell Pan. This adds up to about 2,300 grams. If your three big ones add up to 3,300 grams, no one will sue you because 3 for 3 is only a tool and a help and to show you that the three big ones need not weigh 8 or 9 kilos which is not uncommon if you follow the advice given in this film you're well on your way to having a nice light hike you'll be safe and more comfortable with light gear and remember if you are doing the Fjällräven Classic your pack should not weigh more than 10 kilos when you start out. I will be watching you.